So here is um, an interesting one. We've talked about how good the Browns' defensive line has been, and the reason it is so important is you put it in tandem with what their cornerbacks have done. Lowest passer rating allowed by cornerbacks. So you see Adebo, lowest, uh, Bland, 37, Robinson, 40.6. Then fourth and fifth are the Browns' outside corners, and that's, again, that's uh, passer rating allowed. So Martin Emerson, 41.7, Denzel Ward, 53.4. That's usually because Ward's matching up against a tougher guy. Um, but fourth and fifth in the league um, are the Browns' two outside corners. And you should see there's a stat out there. I wish I knew it off the top of my head here, but – Th that passer rating in single coverage for Martin Emerson is in the 20s. He's only allowing – if he's in single coverage and man coverage against people, he's allowing like a 28 passer rating against him, which is just an absolute insane number considering he's a second-year player that came out of nowhere. Nobody really knew who he was in Cleveland when they drafted him in the third round. And a lot of that had to do with they wouldn't throw it at Martin Emerson in, in college. He did not have the stats, the interceptions, and the recognition because he just shut guys down. Down and they never even attempted it well now we're starting to see that again in cleveland come alive and i just think like i i'm not a big jersey guy anymore but i have that 23 jersey in my cart for christmas i think that we're gonna have to bring that home just because like i love the way martin emerson plays the game man like and that's not to take away from Denzel Ward at all because Denzel's playing top 10 cornerback play right now. But Martin Emerson, I just think there's not a – you can't create a mismatch with Martin Emerson in the sense that he can play big and physical wide receivers and he can play short – or not shorter, but like more dynamic and quicker wide receivers. Uh, you know, he may not have the straight line speed that like Denzel does, but I think he can be effective in any type of uh, – against any type of wide receiver. And Denzel – it was kind of a down year for him. I was very hard on him. I was a big critic of his last year. He's just gone out there and quietly been one of the best corners in football again. And that extension all is suddenly doesn't look so bad anymore. But when you got a pass rush like the Browns do, these corners, they don't have to hold coverage for two or three seconds because – if the quarterback has the ball after two seconds, he's probably going down against this defense. And and it's just been all around where they just – the pass rush complements the linebackers and complements the coverage units and everything and vice versa. And it's just – it's been so much fun to watch.